Hello everyone. So today I'm going to do a harmonic analysis to this piece. Now this is the first piece of Rigger's six art songs. And although this piece is only two pages in length, but uh, the harmonic rhythm is actually quite fast. So I'm going to uh, do this analysis in two videos. So in the first video, I'm just going to analyze from the first bar to the first first bar in the second page. And because this piece is actually quite uh, complex in harmony, so I would like to encourage you to first analyze this yourself before you watch me to do the analysis. Uh, that way you can get more out of this video, I guess. Okay, so firstly we identify the key here. Now we have four flats, so either F minor or A flat major. If it was F minor, then we will have E natural here, but we have E flat here. Uh, so not likely to be F minor and also in the last chord we have an A flat uh, major chord here So I'm going to say we are in the key of A flat major A flat major Okay, the first chord is the first inversion of subdominant and then we have French uh, augmented sixth so that is flat five double dominant uh, four three and then here we have uh, dominant at sixth so we have the sixth, sixth here replacing the fifth and here we have well if we look at this chord first this is the strike uh, the first inversion of chord two so two six and this is this chord here is the first inversion of leading tone seventh of chord two here. Okay, now here we have top, the double dominant leading tone seven, resolving to cadential six four and then uh, dominant. Now, if you want to analyze this as a separate chord, then you would say this is uh, double dominant leading tone seven with a dominant pedal point underneath it, and but also you can just say this is a pattern note then you 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 wouldn't say there, there is a, a separate chord here and here we have dominant seventh in the third inversions going to tonic in the first inversions and then here if we change the C, the C flat to C naturals uh, here this is the first inversion of leading tone seventh of chord two but this is not chord two this is a chord two here this is two sevenths in the third inversions third inversion now this one is a passing six four passing dominant six four here so what this means is uh, this dominant six four here delayed the resolution from this chord to this chord here. Now, if we now change the C natural spec to C flat, then we are lowering the third of the chord, so flat three, chord two here. Now, this chord is dominant seventh in the first inversion, and we have subdominant in the first inversion, this is the passing chord going to dominant seventh. And then we have dominant seventh in the third inversion going to uh, tonic in the first inversion. Now here uh, we have a double dominant leading tone uh, seventh in the third inversion. Now here we have chord two seven without fifth. This is passing note here. And then we have, well, if we look at this chord first, this chord is uh, dominant seventh chord of of chord uh, chord four, the subdominant chord, which is the actually the, the D flat major chord, right? So in the key of D flat major, this is dominant seventh, and this 
chord here is uh, chord 2 7th in the second inversion so it's like this but here we don't have a, a subdominant chord so instead we have a, a dominant in the first inversion so this this is called, called an unexpected progression so we expect this to be a chord 4 here but instead we have a, a chord 5 here now this chord here is the first inversion of E flat major right and and this A and here we have a first inversion of E flat minor now we've said this before whenever a chord changes its quality immediately follow the, the chord before so so from E flat major to E flat minor then this this chord is very likely to be a, a minor subdominant of of some key right so if the E flat minor is the minor subdominant then what is the temporary dominant what is the secondary key here well the secondary key would be B flat right so uh, let's see if that's the case. Here we have a uh, F dominant chord here, so it is indeed the dominant seventh of uh, B flat. So this is a, a tonicization of B flat, which is chord two. But here again, we don't have chord two here. So another uh, unexpected progression here. So what is this chord? Well, this chord is chord six, right? Chord six from A flat minor. So th there is a modal uh, mixture mixture here. And well, this is six sevenths because we have seventh here, right, in the melody. And then here we have the dominant, uh, and then we have dominant at sixth. This is the sixth note replacing the fifth. And here the uh, this chord here is uh, actually tonic uh, this one is a partitura and then here we have an auxiliary note here so you need to look at the chord like this okay so this is the first section of this piece and I'm going to end the video here and in the next video we'll continue to analyze uh, this piece from here to the end. And thank you, stay tuned and sub subscribe if you, if you want to see more of this video and give me a like if you enjoyed this video. Thank you.